Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Our friends over at Gable have decided to get into the triple mag mount business. And in order to do that, they also needed to get into the coax business. So I got to show you these two things over on the bench. All right, so first up we have this nondescript brown cardboard box. But inside we have this pretty awesome setup for a triple mag mount. And I kind of already looked at this before because this was a sneak peek of a product that came out a while ago. Why are these things mounted so far inside? They're not. It's just a good way to do the shipping. And what do we get in the bag, dude? Thread sealer? They call it anaerobic adhesive. So this thing has got some pretty cool little features to it. Let's get it put together in order to see what all those features are. So I take the little rubber covers off of the studs. I was trying to figure out what the word was for that. I mean, it's a screw, but it's more of a stud than it is a screw. And what is really cool about this is these guys actually thought like, hmm, I'm going to put this on my car. I don't want to scratch the paint. So it actually has a rubberized coating and you can kind of see where the magnets are underneath the rubber. But that rubberized coating goes all the way over. It is not going to come off. What I have seen on some of the other ones is that they have little rubber booties on them and the little rubber booties come off. And so this is where it gets really interesting. You would think that it would go on there like some old fashioned mag mounts would. However, these are swivel mounts and they go on the magnetic base first. And then you can tighten this set screw down with an Allen key so that it's not going to come loose. But then the whole thing is movable. My roof isn't flat. Most of the time you will not find a flat panel on a vehicle because there's no strength in a flat piece of metal. So even if you can't see it, it still has a subtle little bit of curvature to it to give it that strength that it needs. The other thing this allows you to do is leave the magnets on the car and then remove this for some antenna maintenance or something. Get this piece off with the little metal base on it and the coax attached and leave these guys behind. So. We can do it even upright if we wanted to, but I don't know why you'd want to do that, but that's how far these things will turn. So you can think of all kinds of different ways that you can get these things in place for you. So there's the triple mag mount part, but how do I get an antenna on that? It's not really an exercise for the user. We got you covered with coax. And I think they did a really good job with this coax. You can see that it's got different connectors. This one is a BNC connector. That one looks like it might be an SMA connector. Interesting. I'll have to, I'll have to test that out. Real quick, I'll have to test that out. SMA male connector, regular old HT antenna. That is not that fitting. Ah, there it is. I had it backwards. It's this fitting. All right, so that will adapt this coax to your HT. I'm getting all excited. I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so we've got SMA female. We've got BNC male. We've got PL259 end connector. And then this one here is your SMA male that I was looking for earlier. So that's where you would connect on if you were weird and wanted to connect one of these on. That's where you would do that. But that's not what this is about. I just got excited and got sidetracked. You would need this one here to connect to your radio. Unless you had one of those weird radios that had the, the wrong kind of SMA on it, like that one. Crazy. So this here is where it gets exciting. This is a SO239 connector. And there is a little finial or an escutcheon. And then there is this guy here, which is just a regular nut. Now let's get that mag mount back up. So this piece here goes in underneath. And then you can put the escutcheon on and get that nice and tight so that it ain't going anywhere. And now I have a solid SO239 mount for a PL259 style of antenna like your ATAS or any number of other mobile antennas that would work with this kind of base. I can think of probably about 10 or 12 off the top of my head. And then I've got one of these guys here. because Gable really has thought of everything. And this is the GRA AD35. It's a 3 8 24 to UHS, UHF adapter. So now if you're one of those weirdos that has a 3 8 24 antenna, like me, then you can use this to make a ridiculously solid 3 8 24 antenna mount out of this guy here. So I think we've got just about everything covered. Wait, 
wait, there's one more thing I need to show you about this. So why do you think it has all of those weird ends on it? This is the, the other end of the coax. This is the part that goes on the triple mag mount, and this is the part that goes through the vehicle and into the passenger space, into the, into the human area. And so this is just about, it's really close, it's just about the size of the coax itself. You already need to make a hole this big, but now I don't need to make a hole the size of an end connector. I don't need to make the hole the size of any of these other connectors. What I can do is I can make that the size of my hole and then shove this thing through the firewall. And when I get it inside, I can connect it like so to whatever radio that I happen to have inside of my vehicle, even if it's an HT. And you'd be amazed if you take this little HT antenna here, this little rubber duck, and get it outside of the steel cage, outside of the Faraday cage, and then bring this guy here into the vehicle, you will make a world of difference. And it's also a lot easier to carry something like this around and not have it bang into the roof above you because all you have is the coax. Or imagine if you got yourself a speaker mic and shove that in there, then this thing can sit in the cup holder. This is your coax going outdoors to the antenna or to an even better antenna and getting your signal a lot farther. And obviously the coax doesn't care what kind of signal you're putting through it. So if you're gonna use a big old Baofeng like this one, or if you're gonna get yourself a GMRS radio, I know they look the same, they're not the same. That was a trick. I was seeing if you were paying attention. Or if you're gonna get yourself a GMRS radio like this one, or even if you want to get the best radio ever made and whip out your Vero VR N76 or your BTEC UV Pro or your Radiodity GA-5WB, all you need to do is change out your coax and you're good to go. I am always on the lookout to make sure that you have the best equipment possible to run your station or the most affordable equipment or even sometimes the most expensive equipment because... I'm just that kind of guy. So if you are looking for a triple mag mount to go on your vehicle, then I've got a link for you down in the description below. I've also got that handy dandy coax for you and the PL259 to 3 8 24 adapter. You'll probably see this more in upcoming videos. If you don't have a car with a magnetic roof or body panel or something like that, this still has enough weight to it to hold your antenna in place. Or you can use this to stick your antenna on a picnic table or on the ground or something and there's some weight if you do take this and put it on the ground be real careful with the fact that you might get some iron based rocks little little tiny grains of dirt or dust or whatever attached to these magnets because these are pretty strong magnets stay tuned for more antenna reviews and more gear reviews to the channel by hitting that subscribe button down below on your way down there go right past it you'll see the description area where i've got all the links for you and if none of this stuff excites you like it excites me, then there's a video right over here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.